A new study from AAA reveals that the cost to own and operate your car is likely a lot more than you think. KBS 5 advocate Dave Cherry is here now with the true cost of ownership. And Dave, you have some ways to save. Yeah, that's right, Chris. Some of the costs of owning your vehicle are pretty obvious. Others are less so, and you need to know about them. But with all the costs, there are ways to lower them and free up cash for other expenses. When many people think of the cost of owning a vehicle, they think of their car payment, gas, and insurance. But AAA says the cost goes well beyond that. We know that everyone keeps you know, a close eye on what they're spending and people want to save where they can. So a really good place to start could be with your car. A new study from AAA reveals the average cost to own and operate a new vehicle nationwide is about $8,500. Michelle Donati from AAA says one factor drivers fail to consider is depreciation, which is very high on a new car. One thing people can do that can easily help to offset some of the depreciation costs is to buy a used car. Let somebody else take the new car depreciation hit and you get the much lower depreciation of a used car. Donati says you can also save by using your vehicle less. Just carpooling or ride sharing one day a week can lead to nice savings. Those things can help to offset the fuel that you pay, um, the wear and tear on your vehicle and ultimately the maintenance that you end up paying. You can also save on maintenance like oil changes and tire rotations just by staying on top of it. AAA has done previous studies where we found that you can save an average of $100 if you simply follow your vehicle's maintenance schedules. Now, AAA has put out this report for years now and usually compares the results to the previous year. They say that's not possible this year because of a change in methodology, so comparisons will start again next year. Now, here's one last one for you. If you really want to buy new, let's say, consider the number of occupants that you normally carry. If you don't use all the seats, let's say, in a minivan, you can save on depreciation and quite a bit by going with a large or midsize sedan instead. Tell me if you have any consumer disputes to go to azfamily.com slash cbs5advocate. Click on that link right there. The form comes up, fill that out and submit it in to me and I'll get back to you.